Then came some other guys, a whole bunch of people, came up with the model we use today, the quantum mechanical model. Now, the nucleus has pretty much remained what the nucleus is. A guy named Chadwick discovered the neutron, and so we have a complete nucleus. The whole trick has been, what's happening with the electrons? Energy levels, kind of like planets orbiting the sun, right, in orbits, that, that idea was kicking around for a while, but that's not really the way it works. You see, all things move in waves, and that goes for particles. The electrons travel around the nucleus in a wave pattern. And that wave pattern is determined by interactions with other electrons. It gets fairly complicated. A guy named Erwin Schrodinger actually came up with an equation that describes the motion of a single electron around a single proton in hydrogen. It's a very complicated equation. As soon as you throw another electron in there, it throws the whole thing right out the window. Then along came Werner Heisenberg, who said, well, the fact of the matter is that you can't know both where an electron is and where it's going at the same time because any effort to determine one is going to change it. If you want to find out where an electron is, just trying to find out is going to change its location. And if you want to find out what direction it's going, any, any attempt to probe it will change its direction of motion. So the Heisenberg uncertainty principle says that you can't actually describe where an electron is in an atom. All you can do is define an area of space around the nucleus where you're most likely to find an electron. This has led to the orbital theory. Electrons are found in orbitals around the nucleus. They're not orbiting like planets around the sun in the solar system. The orbitals describe regions of space where an electron is most likely to be found at any given moment. Now, these dots represent the position of an electron at any given instant. You can see that you'll never know exactly where the electron is, but you can define the basic region of space around the nucleus where you might expect to find that electron. This is what's called the S sublevel. The S sublevel is a shape of a sphere around the nucleus. Where is the electron in that sphere? We haven't got the slightest idea. All we know is it's going to be somewhere within that region of space around the nucleus. This is why the quantum mechanical model is also sometimes known as the charge cloud model. We're still refining the model to this day. We've got the basic picture, and it has served us well enough to continually improve our technology and make our lives more interesting.